Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. There's one lady who gets to wear sunglasses indoors, and it's <laughs> Cynthia Bailey. <laughs> You've got a good reason for wearing them tonight. Woo! Congratulations, yours Fashion Week. Yes. Talk to me about the sunglass line and debuting it. All right, well, you know, um, I am a fashion and beauty brand. I wanted to do something in the fashion lane, so I started. I decided to open up with my Cynthia Bailey eyewear. If you guys follow the show, it's been a very shady season. And my Cynthia Bailey eyewear has been front and center, and that will continue for the rest of the season. And, um, you know, I'm just here for Fashion Week. I always attend the Fashion Weeks, um, you know, modeling days, just, you know, again, being a fashion brand. And uh, I'm excited about my eyewear because I'm really actually putting together a accessories empire, and my eyewear is the lead out. I got hats coming, I got scarves, I got jewelry, I got everything coming. I've had such a long day. Meanwhile, I'm like here and I'm like, the music's going. I'm yes. like, I just want to stay. Yes. With the, we got drinks, we got food, we got a very Oh, nice I'm hitting all of that crowd. shortly. We're in New York City, downtown Soho. So, you know, this is it. This is what's happening. And the weather's acting nice. You know, it was freezing when I got here, but it's all good. You mentioned the show. This show just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's Bravo's number one show still. Does it blow oh, your yeah. mind how big Atlanta has continued to be? You know what, I've been a part of the show for six seasons now, and at this point, you know, people just relate to us. You know, we we just, you know, you can't make it up, the stuff that we talk about and what happens on our show. Uh, out of all of the other housewives, we're the ones that people really seem to relate to. So I'm very excited to be a part of the cast. I definitely think I bring my own fair share drama and entertainment as well. So it's good, and it's an amazing platform to promote everything that I have going on. How has it changed, you mentioned the platform, how has it changed your life from season one to now when you look at the beginning and where you started to where you are now? Oh my God. Well, first of all, you know, just transitioning from the fashion world to reality TV, you know, there's no, there's nothing like season one. Like you just get haze, you just don't know what you're doing. It was like awful. You know, I just was like, you know, really overwhelmed. And, and the instant celebrity, I think, was really what took me back because on our show, we're not like movie stars, we're reality stars. So it's really, you know, we're accessible, they see us and they really feel like, you know, they're in our kitchen, they're in our bedrooms. They, they really get to see those intimate moments with us. And we're, and we're us, you know, we are playing ourselves. So, you know, it's, it, it's been, you know, it's like a blessing, but you know, def, definitely has this downside, you know, social media, it's a little tough sometimes because they really, you know, every episode, if you have a good episode, they praise you. If you have a bad episode and they think you're being messy, they it's just like the light Hunger you Games. up. They light you up. Like, they go in. It's like, oh, my God, this is like a TV show. I can't believe people are so invested in every single thing we do and say. Do you ever, does it ever become too much for you? Because you see so many housewives really self-destruct. Mm -hmm. Has it ever become too much where you've been like, oh, my God, I can't do this anymore. This is too much. You know what? Um... I will say that I think it's really hard on relationships. I got married on the show. Peter and I are the only couple that got married actually on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So from them to see us, you know, struggle through all of that six years later, I, I definitely think it's tough on relationships. That's, that's where I struggle the most. When you look forward, the show probably will continue on forever. Yes, but where I do you? Hope so. <laughs> She's like, bravo, keep renewing us. And keep bringing me I, I think back. You three million viewers. It's probably going to continue forever. Uh, three where to do four you, million. Where, unbelievable. Where, but where do you want to be in the next three, five, ten years? Um, you know, at some point, you know, I will transition off the show. I really want to be very established in my accessories business. Um, you know, I have, you know, tons of other stuff going on, you know, that I don't get to talk about everything on the show. But I, I just want to be happy and successful and, you know, you know, doing my thing. Has it been tough to open up? I'm so shy. I can't imagine being on a show where three to four million people watch. For you, what has that experience been like opening your whole life to America? It's not easy because you, you realize, you know, people really judge you, you know, they either love to love you or love to hate you. Uh, I actually used to be shy myself, but you know, it's not an that option. <laughs> Don't get to be shy on a reality show. Um, you know, it, it's just part of the game. It's, it's just part of what it is. Um, you know, but it, it's, you know, you can't be shy on TV. So I, I used to be shy like you, I'm not anymore. So. The positive part of it. What have been one or two either fan reactions or social reactions that say, all right, well, you mentioned people connect to you guys, that have made you realize, hey, what we're putting out there into the world, people connect and take it internally and actually use it for positive. 
Well, I will say, like, even my struggles with my marriage is inspirational to people who have their own struggles with their marriage. You know, the more we hang in there, the more people actually feel like, oh, you know, well, Cynthia Peter can hang in there, <laughs> and they're a hot mess. Maybe we can work this out. You know, I'm very proud of my relationship with my daughter. Uh, we definitely embrace the whole blended family thing. Uh, her dad is a big part of her life and still a part of my life. So, you know, a lot of people find inspiration in, you know, getting along with their baby daddies and, you know, just, you know, really making it about the kids and not about, you know, the, the adult relationship. You and the cast, there's a need for diversity right now in television and in film. Obviously, the Oscars have been an enormous Putting that diversity on television, what's been the reaction and what's been the positive feedback around that? Because you're an all African American male, female cast on television that really doesn't exist right now. Well, you know, we didn't start out that way. Uh, we are an all black cast now, but you know, before we had Cam Zosiak, who's you know the, not African American, so it didn't start out that way. It ended up that way, and I think it's kind of cool. You know, I, I think it's important for networks to understand that, you know, an all-black cast can carry a show. In our case, carry a network, because we are number one. You're awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Before I go, why should people buy your sunglasses? Tell me, give me every reason. <laughs> because the shade is real, honey. If you're going to be shady, you may as well be rocking Cynthia Bailey shades. And they're, they're fabulous, and they're affordable, and, you know, that's what all, I'm, I'm all about, affordability and quality. What's so. next on Fashion Week for you, the rest of Fashion Week? Um, just more meetings, more shows, you know, just more work. I have another eyewear event, and I'm just, you know, living life and, and you know, enjoying it.